Yes, it certainly uh, entrepreneurs facing the UK are worried about their market size being reduced and lacking opportunities. I think the concern why, for entrepreneurs. Why would, be, why would their markets be reduced? Why? Well, because Scotland is, leaving the UK would mean the UK is a smaller market. It should be able to. It should be able to sell into the UK. I mean, it just would be a border over which you could grab one. But there's not going to be any well, tariffs. Uh, unfortunately, not. Most people are, I know operate within the UK, but not necessarily Ireland. For instance, so Scotland would essentially over time become another island. So, you know, as o over time there would be a divergence between you know, a, a Scottish uh, rule of law and uh, the rest of the UK rule of law. You know, differences on, on tax uh, and employee Might legislation. Might very possibly lower tax. I mean, yeah. Ireland has been promising lower tax. That could be very good. For them. Lower tax. I mean, Ireland at the moment also does does lower tax. And you know, in that instance, there might be a race to the bottom in terms of UK, Ireland. And Scotland, all racing Ireland to reduce to, uh, Ireland seems to have done very nicely on that. I mean, you know, one of, the, of all the sort of the, com the countries that went into problems during the recession, Ireland did very nicely, came out of it very well. Largely, people say because of a lower corporation tax, wouldn't that be a nice way to rescue, a good way to rescue, and <laughs> rescue, rescue Scotland from independence, as one well, might say? Well, well, certainly, I mean, it does sound good. I, my only concern would be how does that tally with what Alan Salmond is saying in terms of all of his socialist policies and everything else? You can't reduce tax and increase you know, expenditure on, on social policies. Um, you know, I mean, the people that I spoke to in Scotland are concerned more about just the uncertainty in terms of what's going to happen, you know, and you know, how are you going to raise funds? You know, how, how are you going to plan for employing people if you don't know what the employee legislation is going to be? What about the point of view of English companies? Is it going to make any difference to them, do you think, English and Welsh? Yeah, well, you know, like we said just now, it will reduce the size of the market, you know, it will mean less opportunities. Um, and I think it, it's, it's just a shame that we can't say, you know, why can't we work together to actually make the whole of the UK better rather than fragmenting off and, and increasing red tape and, and, you know, fragmenting the market. Okay. William Berry, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Of course, all those conversations held on the expectation that there was going to be a yes vote. But of course, nothing is certain until Friday morning. And we will bring you the latest here on the BBC.